there we are, on the waggler, big old bronzy bream, about three pound I would have thought, on the banded pellet. Just inside the bottom lip. Nice fish, good size. Slip him back. Let's see if there's another one out there, shall we? Pellets still okay. It was a different sort of bite to the roach, it, it really was a slow, deliberate under, so uh, that's what we're looking for. Nice, slow, deliberate bites. Usually bream a shoal fish, so there should be more than one out there. This car park area in a match is very difficult to catch bream close, and that's about as close as I've caught them. That's 15 metres, I would think, so you'd just about be able to fish a long pole at full range to there, but it would be a quite a arm wrenching experience for five hours. Of course, the waggler would do just the same job, not perhaps quite as accurate because I can't put a pole pot on a waggler. But uh, when they're this time of year and they don't mind a bit of loose feed, you can get away with it with a wag. Put about half a pint of hemp caster in now. I've got the caster from Willy Worms as well through the internet. They're very good, vacuum packed. They arrived uh, for the Wednesday competition on the Tuesday. I used them on the Wednesday, as you saw and uh, I got back home, put them in the fridge in a little bit of water this time because they were out of the vacuum pack and they were absolutely fine. So uh, all I can say about the Willy, Willy Worms company is I've had the worms, the maggots and the casters and they've all been exceptionally good so uh, I will use them all the time now, they're very reliable you order it on day one, you get it day two, it's incredible how, how they can give it to you so quickly, I don't know. They use couriers, I think, rather than raw mail, that's probably what helps. Missed that one. And if there's two of you, if it's you and your friend, it makes it cheaper, I mean, because the carriage unfortunately is about five pound. But of course, if there's two of you, and you both want bait, it's the same price for uh, any quantity, and you can go halves and halves. Keep the price, keep the cost down. But it, I don't mind, it's worth the extra premium to know that A, your bait's going to turn up, and B, it's good quality. I've not got a carp on this line, I haven't seen any signs of a carp, there's no bubbles, no fizzing. That was a very slow bite, crikey. I didn't do any better on Saturday than eel. It won't be, not on a pellet I wouldn't have thought. Which 
try and sink the line as best we can. One, yeah, one bream. Yeah, I've lost a couple on the tip. Not not uh, big ones. Just they just come off on the way in. But uh, yeah, it's been quite quite harder than I thought it would be, to be honest. Trouble is, we get we get warm in, in an instant, but this water takes a little while to warm up, doesn't it? Yeah. We have had some rain, crikey. Oh yeah, we have had some rain since last couple of days. So oh, we? Yeah, the other night it rained all night, didn't it? They say Monday's going to be pretty horrible, so... So we reckon today? Yeah, tomorrow's going to be okay again, but uh, Monday's not looking good. So I think we picked the best day. How many are we going to catch, do you reckon? Oh, Rick, you'll get a bucket full. You'll get a load. You said we've got to catch nine, you said, this morning. We've had six, haven't we? Oh, crikey, you'd do it easy. We've got six right now. Have you really? Yep. Go and make it seven then. We want to catch a couple. We want, we want a little carp, don't we? Yeah, they'll come, I'm sure. We want a little carp. Come on, go and chuck these out. Good angling. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. Well, we've gone slow again. Just one breathing amongst that? That's strange. Right, I'll switch you off. 